When I was a little girl, I used to do all kinds of things that were normal to me, but probably if I would have spoken about these things to my friends or family, they might have thought I was a little odd or wouldn't know what to do with me. Um, one of the things I used to do is I would lie in bed and run energy up and down inside my body. I was keenly aware of slowing my heart way, way down. These, I think, were actually techniques or tools or just um, methods of working with my body and my energy field that I had learned in prior incarnations. I, Through my work, I just I can't help but believe we live multiple lives. Um, so because I've had experiences of flashbacks when I'm traveling, but that's for another podcast. Right now, I just want to tell you about the essence of various forms of meditation some two of my favorites i think it's really important to have meditation as part of your spiritual practice why because i think sometimes our energy can be scattered you know we could be thinking of tomorrow thinking of uh, last week and when we think of these things in in a very energetic way in a very vibrational way we travel to those times and spaces um, intellectually in our mind but also energetically and it's important to have time in our life where we, we really pull ourselves literally all together. So we're in our body and not so scattered mentally or energetically. Um, one of the ways and techniques that I use to really focus and bring my energy presently in my body is via meditation. And I wanna share some of those um, helpful forms with you today. I hope you enjoy. To meditate is to just think deeply or focus your mind for a period of time. And you could do this in silence. You could do it with eyes open, eyes closed. You could either be silent or maybe chanting or repeating a mantra. A mantra is just sacred word or tone. And people do it for spiritual purposes. Maybe to, people do it for spiritual purposes, maybe to shift their energy. They also do it for religious purposes or simply to use it as a method of relaxation. There's two forms of meditation that I want to share with you today that I use to help kind of collect my energy in my body and become more aware of the subtle sensations in my body. The first one, I just, um, you know, I, I guess I could call it collecting myself meditation. I don't really have a word for it. It's just something I do. And it's I, it's helpful when I'm like standing in line or in, uh, you know, and feeling a bit a bit scattered or picking up other people's energy or I'm in a big crowd or maybe I want to prepare into a presentation or my day or some other kind of um, eff effort that needs to be made and have my full awareness to it. Um, so what I do, it's pretty simple. I just, um, with my intention, of collecting myself in on my in breath I breathe through my nostrils a nice big breath in to just collect myself my scattered energy right into my body physical and with an exhale I ground that very energy through my body down into the ground out the soles of my feet and into the planet earth that protects and holds me and supports me so so with each in breath Pulling my energy in from all scattered places and exhale, grounding my energy into the earth. I do this like three times. It just helps me center and focus and quiet my mind so I'm ready to go forward to do the next thing, whatever that may be. The next thing I wanna share with you is a technique that I learned uh, on a 10 day silent uh, retreat of meditation. I was meditating 10 hours a day in silence. The whole retreat was silence for 10 days. It's called Vipassana meditation. It is um, also known as insight meditation or awareness meditation. This has been profoundly helpful, especially as an empath. I'll get more into that later, but all you empaths out there that uh, know that you're picking up other people's energy, this is really helpful <laughs> Good to kind of know what's happening. What this does is it's a technique that you, um, that I find helpful to do, especially at night. You can do it at any time. You know, the practice itself has suggested that you do it uh, a couple times a day for an hour each time, but I, my life is, I don't do that. So I just, mostly I do it as I'm 
getting lying in bed ready to fall asleep. Um, it's one of the things that I do before falling asleep. And I'm just going to go through a brief introduction. There's other classes online from other people, or you could even read about it online. It's Vipassana meditation. But this is what I do. I lay down and I, um, I focus on, on my feet first. I kind of notice any subtle sensations that might be happening in my feet. And then when I notice a subtle sensation, then I move on to my calves and the lower part of my legs. And I notice then, are there any subtle sensations, any like coolness, tingling, oddity, any sensation. And when I get a sensation, I don't linger long. I go to then to the, my thighs and um, hamstrings. And I notice if there's any subtle sensation there and it might be a prickly or it might be, you know, not a whole lot of anything, but I might notice like maybe I have a throbbing muscle or a spasm or something. And once I notice that subtle sensation, then I move on to my torso. I move to my whole torso. Maybe I feel rumbling in my tummy, tummy or something. And if, if I do notice then moving on to the upper back that there might be a subtle sensation there maybe my back is itchy or something i notice it and then i move on to the next parts i might go up my arms starting with my hands noticing if there's any subtle sensations sometimes do they feel itchy or hot or sweaty or cold or tingly and then when i notice the sensation there then i move on to my forearms and again notice any subtle sensations you have to pay close attention because initially you might not find anything but it really if you pay attention you might notice a little something and then after you notice something you move on to the upper arms and then once you notice the subtle sensation in the upper arms you can move to the shoulders and then, then of course then on to the neck and feeling any subtle sensations in the neck and then after feeling any subtle sensations in the neck moving on to the head you can break the parts of the body down really small you could just go what do i feel anything in my jaw noticing any you know tightness in the jaw or something that's always my thing or anything else there and before moving on to around your nose or your eyes Eyes and any subtle sensations around your whole head in there, maybe a little throbbing or a little um, tingling or a little just anything really. And then finishing up at the top of your head. And when you notice something at the top of the head, then you start back down again and you go through each section. Again, you can, when you're starting out, you can break the body up into big parts. You can do the whole head and then go is there any subtle sensation noticing the sensation going to the whole torso that can include the neck and then noticing there and then going down to you know to the arms and then down to the legs and then down to the calves you know the lower upper legs and then lower legs and then the feet and then when you get to the feet then you start up again and it's up and down and up and down and up and down when people are really adept at this, after a while on those 10 days, you start what's being called a sweep. You go so fast. You feel maybe the same sensation throughout. I probably shouldn't do the spoiler alert, but I'm going to. There was a time in my meditation practice at this Vipassana retreat that I felt electricity through my whole body. It was powerful. The deal with Vipassana is you're not supposed to get caught up or or um, try to push away any sensation. You're just supposed to experience it and move on. Now, what this does, fascinating as it is, I noticed how it incredibly affected my own psychic practice and my spiritual practice. Two things happened. One, I was able to notice sooner when other people's energy, words, thoughts, we're coming at me and hitting my energy field. We all have this auric field. You know, we're made up of energy. I know you know this by now. Everything's made up of energy. We're made up of energy, but our energy extends about, um, you know, quite a bit on either side. We can actually move our aura. We'll play with that later in another episode, but we, our energy extends around us like a bubble. It's our auric field. Um, and when other people kind of come near our auric field, we can pick up their energy. And so as an empath, which is someone that feels other people's energy, um, we can notice right away, especially when we're working with Vipassana, if we're picking up other people's energy and when we need to move it out of our field or clear our own energy field. Again, I'll, that'll be another podcast on down the line about clearing and cleansing. But for the purpose of this, what happened with the Vipassana is you become highly 
astute at your kind of realizing what's happening in your own energy field. And you notice if somebody's saying something and it affects you, this is really helpful for those that have been through trauma or for various reasons in their life, they have discredited their physical sensations on their body or their physical feelings, they've shut down. And so this kind of reignites that relationship so that you can feel, how can I care for my physical body? How can I protect myself? How can I kind of be in situations that feel you know physically in my body right for me when is there pain when is it not okay you know I don't know about you but I've been through some quite some scenarios in my youth that had me you know discounting my physical sensations in my body I have a high pain tolerance because of that and this has not always been my friend you know so I'm learning even still to say um, ouch that hurts so what Vipassana helps me do is to notice when something energetically is not comfortable and what do I need to do then to move out of that arena or away from that sphere or maybe away from that person that gives me funky vibes or out of that room that just gives me a bad feeling and more on that later too can't go everything in one episode but so vipassana if practiced well you know well enough doesn't matter it's just the putting the time in to do it it helps you notice maybe even release some of the tension that you're carrying throughout the day but it also just helps you get closer to your own energy physical feeling body and in that start of that relationship or in that enhancement of that relationship it only empowers you throughout your life you are going to really love this if you put it into practice again when I teach this as a class I have the students do it during the day and we sit in practice going up and down and up and down and talk about the differences and the subtle sensations and what it's like but you could do this on your own and again I do it in the evening sometimes when I'm having a hard time falling asleep or when I'm noticing like I'm just jazzed you know I'm just hyped about the day or, or whatnot or too much caffeine late in the day that rarely happens but still if it does or whatever I use it to kind of tune into my body to just listen to the subtle sensations and 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 on this first note I invite you to just do the vipassana practice purely but certainly what you can eventually maybe do is notice spots that are a feeling of a wound an old wound and you can maybe go into that spot and say what do you need me to do or what do you want from me or what more can I do to release you or can you go now I'll get a bit more into that later, but I just have a feeling someone out there might want to hear that because you're a little, you're ready for that. So anyway, I hope um, that you work with Vipassana meditation if it kind of uh, is exciting to you or intriguing to you, or I hope you work with that kind of centering meditation when you need that in your life. I think the biggest thing is to recognize those moments when we recognize that we need either, either one of those because sometimes we're so busy with life we don't even stop to notice what we need. And so I applaud you for recognizing those moments like, huh, I need something, something's upsetting me, what do I need? And then, oh, I need to take on a moment for a, a method of relaxation is this a place where that first meditation might be in breath through the nostrils out breath through the throat mouth and um, inhale exhale to ground your energy and you know just collect yourself or is it maybe a full of a pasta experience that you need to just kind of rekindle your relationship with your energy physical energy body thanks for listening thanks for tuning in if you want to follow me more on any social media platforms, check out my website, ConstanceMesmer.com. And I'm not taking clients because I'm doing the podcast. Light and love, light and love, and happy meditating. Legally speaking, this podcast is presented solely for educational and entertainment purposes. It is not intended as a substitute for medical diagnosis, treatment, or the advice of a physician, psychotherapist, or other qualified professional. You should not use this information to diagnose or treat a health problem or condition. Always check with your doctor. Thank you for joining us today.
If you've enjoyed this episode of Soul Awareness with Constance Mesmer, we'd like to encourage you to continue your spiritual journey with this next episode.